Matt, uh, apologies to all those who have grown up with the green and gold and certainly those in the East Bay. It is it is tough, I'm sure, uh, to see this happen every offseason. The reality is they, they did. You look back at that roster a few years ago when they made the playoffs most recently. They had a really good young club, and now most of them are elsewhere with Sean Murphy, the latest. But when this was announced last night by the Braves, Matt and Anthony, my reaction was twofold. Number one, this is significant news. And number two, this might be the least surprising headline <laughs> of the entire offseason. Because once the Braves get a young player they like, they extend him. That's basically been their history almost every single time. And it was the same exact recipe as a year ago with Matt Olson Bring in a player. And I think this is really a credit to Alex Anthopoulos and the Braves ownership. They know that when a player comes in from Oakland, they've never even really had that long-term conversation about a, about a contract on a meaningful, close level. So they can sit down and say, listen, here we're talking real dollars, your real future, you know where you're going to be. This is a team that's one year removed from winning the World Series. Look at all this young talent around you. And, and this Rookie of the Year conversation had both Harris and Strider in it just this past year because of how strong the Braves were on top of all the other young talent that's already locked up for the long term, Acuna being one of them. Albies still under contract. It's remarkable what they've done. Austin Riley, I think that was a deal where following the 2021 World Series, we began to recognize Riley for who he is, and that is as we a superstar in this game. Bill. The contract now affirms that, and that, that is a fairly impressive, remarkable, whatever adjective you want to use, uh, roster of young talent to describe it. You're going to see now, I think, Matt and Anthony, a, a very uh, a very competitive and a, and a perennial winner in Atlanta for a long time to come. And certainly we'll talk you know, later on in the show about Carlos Correa and where things stand with the Mets. But the Mets have spent a ton this offseason. I'm not sure if the foundation that they have built is any better, if at all, than what the Braves already have internally with younger players. I think that is, it's, it's to me, and, and Anthony talked about how you measure a trade here and there years down the line. I think with the Braves and the Mets, it's a totally different flavor. It is invest in free agency, no limits, it seems, on the, on the expensive veteran side versus get young players when they have six or fewer years of service time, get the guys you want, extend them, build your identity, and we obviously know which approach has yielded a World Series more recently between the Mets and the Braves. Over $100 million spent yesterday in uh, in two free agent cases, or one free agent case really, in uh, the deal that we learned about for, uh, for a new starter in Arlington and a catcher in Atlanta. J.P. Morosi with us on a Wednesday.